Right, hi year 11. So week two, okay? Week two of my little revision tips videos. Um, week one is still available. If you go uh, onto my YouTube channel, uh, you'll be able to see that and watch it again or just find the email that I sent you and click on the link again. Uh, week two is all about taking information and breaking it down into small chunks so it's easy to remember, all right? So week one about planning revision. This is going to help you start revision. So uh, as most of you will know, I'm a design technology teacher. Science, I am not, okay? But Mr. Stop was kind enough to give me this example, all right? And I thought it'd be a good one uh, to work through and we can always work through it together. So he gave me this topic of specific heat capacity. So let me make that full screen on here. Right, so in my book, okay, if I'm one of you, if I'm a year 11 student, I might have this large chunk of text written down about specific heat capacity. Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to look at that and you it's just going to put you off. All right. Um, you were told to copy it down, told to write it down, but it's it's too much, okay, far too much. I'd be lucky if I made it past the first paragraph, all right, and nothing would then be going in my brain. What I need to be able to do is I need to be, be able to pull out the key material from this. So, first thing, the definition, what is it? What is specific heat capacity? Well, actually, if I take everything else away and just have what's in yellow, that's what it is. So that's what I can do. I can start taking this and breaking it down into smaller chunks. So I can create myself a cue card. All right. Now you can buy these uh, in shops from Amazon. Um, I want to try and get some in the kiosk. They're not there yet, but we'll get there. So small card or even on a on a piece of paper okay even just writing on a piece of paper and making your own so what is specific heat capacity that's my question underneath i write down the definition so it's the heat required to raise the temperature of the unit mass of a given substance by one degree this then is a fantastic revision uh, revision tool because i can cover up the definition now what i'm going to spend my time doing first of all is i'm going to read it read it again and again and again so it's the heat required to raise the temperature of the unit mass of a given substance by one degree it's the heat required to raise the temperature of the unit mass of a given substance by one degree right cover it up it's the heat required to raise the temperature of the unit mass by one degree did i get that right it's the heat required to raise the temperature of the unit mass Given, no, I got that the wrong way around, didn't I? Okay, so I don't know this. So I need to keep doing this. Read it, read it, cover it, repeat. All right, but this allows me to do that. So by creating these little cue cards. So my next question, the units. Now I took those units from here, okay, from this large body of text. There it is units of heat uh, specific heat capacity so joules per kilogram degrees c joules per kilogram degrees c cover it up joules per kilogram degrees c i got that right okay so i'm creating these revision resources that will help me to memorize um the topics and i could go again the formula of specific heat capacity and I've got my uh, revision card and I can do the same again, cover it up and try and repeat it. Did I get that right? And that all comes from this body of text. All right. Now, if I exit my little PowerPoint mode here, all of this can be broken down. Now, I just did it into three. OK, and I only really got as far as here. So those three covered all of this. I'd need to do more for all of this but it's so much easier to remember the material if you break it down into small chunks so i've got three little cue cards here could be end up with seven eight on specific heat capacity but then i've got my stack and that's nice and easy to read that i can look at that i can process 
This is too much, too much for your brain to process and take in. So break it down into small chunks. Okay. Hopefully you found that helpful year 11. And I will speak to you all next week uh, with week three. Take care. Bye-bye.